There we go. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good evening to everybody. Hello from Europe. Oh, I got the wet right there. It's raining, but uh, Ben is about to do a little, you know, quick uh, uh, trick live. Uh, and uh, we are, it's 9.18. I just wanted to do this video to tell you guys that I have not been getting sleep. I've been getting, uh, yesterday I got a good night's sleep just because uh, the great Chuck Holton helped me out with something. Hello, hello, there we go. Uh, I have not been getting sleep and one of the reasons why is this. <laughs> you see, if if I was, if I was in, in, in Tijuana or if I was in Mexico, this time is around like what? Let's say two, three o'clock. <laughs> Over here, it is 9.20 in the evening, and uh, and it's really difficult to get adjusted. I gotta tell you that. So, just to give a quick update to everybody, a lot of people are asking, uh, Oscar, we have been seeing your work, uh, thank you so much. A lot of people are saying like, hey, I haven't seen it, what's going on? So for people that they haven't get uh, to know the whole mechanism, we have a platform that is called Locals. Uh, you guys can go to locals.com uh, and become a supporter at Locals. Uh, when you become a supporter for $5 a month, uh, actually, you're going to see the mini documentaries that we have been putting out. You're going to have the privilege to see those mini documentaries that we have been putting out. These mini documentaries, uh, they're edited, they're well edited, uh, they're well documented, and ultimately they are put in the platform for the people to see. Uh, mini documentaries, I'm talking about 20 to 22 to 23 minutes. Uh, all of our work is being put out there. Ultimately, I put little stories on Instagram. I make little posts on Twitter. I do little posts on Facebook and all, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, uh, the main platform that we are putting all of our work, it is on Locals. Locals so go, go to Locals, become a supporter, and you can actually see our work. To uh, I think that today just, just premiered uh, the video edited of our visit to Normandy. It is so, so heavy, so energetic, so heavy, so incredible. The story, uh, you know, talking to a former ranger, explaining to us what the whole process was uh, of the war at the Normandy uh, Cemetery. It is so, it's such an impact, really such an impact. So we were yesterday at France, we were at Paris, we were first at Calais, uh, we were at Paris, uh, and then we were staying at Chantilly, uh, but uh, today uh, we have a flight uh, tomorrow, uh, and we're moving to another country, uh, and uh, well, practically we have to come back to Amsterdam. Uh, so we are back in Amsterdam, uh, and ultimately as we are back here, well, we have our, you know, our appointed date to go. So nice to talk to you guys. We kind of keep on moving. There's so much countries that we are going to show. Uh, a lot of countries that we are destined to uh, document, uh, to ultimately to uh, broadcast and to give you guys the reality and truth of the news of what is really happening. The most important thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that we are documenting in different countries in Europe to give you guys the reality and truth of the news of this open border policies, this mass disaster of migration that is occurring, that is damaging, you know, is critically the, the most of the, the people that are getting more affected is the migrants really with these open border policies that it's not helping at all. It's not human at all. And it is so important that we are showing you guys that so you guys can know that it's exactly what the globalists are doing in Europe. It is what they are doing in our continent of America. So thank you so much uh, for everybody to watch for your incredible support. Go to locals.com as Oscar L. Blue. You can actually watch our mini documentaries. And that is the way that we are. Uh, it is a process that we are going to do and try to adapt into that way of work. Uh, so I wanted to thank you to all of you that you have. Uh, you guys have been incredibly supportive on this uh, trip. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, don't miss our... Uh, our mini documentaries that we are putting out every day. Uh, we are trying to do our best <laughs> to stay up and to uh, edit the video. It is not easy, uh, but uh, you know we're trying to do our best to edit video, cut video, and you know, and give it a good sound bite. Uh, 
We have done three mini documentaries right now. The first one is the farmers uh, right here in Netherlands, how the environmentalists are hijacking uh, the territory of the farmers to convert it into governmental housing for the mass migration. The second one was uh, the, the migrants from Sudan, from South Sudan of Af South Africa in Calais, France. That one was an incredible doc mini documentary. And uh, also the last one that is the most recent one, it is our visit to the cemetery of Normandy that is completely an impact. You guys are gonna love that, the, the story. Uh, and not only that, you guys are going to, going to love how the images, the editing, the music, it is just, I think it is a good docu mini documentary, that one also, it's a beautiful document, mini documentary. And tonight, uh, tomorrow or tonight or during the day, we are going to be working on the other mini documentary that we're going to be putting out that is the no-go zones of the massive, uh, you know, radical protests uh, that happened in France. Uh, ultimately, the, the graffiti, how Paris is being damaged and demolished. Also, adding to the fact that the, our visits to the churches that they have not been attacked, but the churches that they have been attacked and give you guys an understanding of what has been happening. Our visit also to the Notre Dame Cathedral and also, you know, a, uh, a, sh a to show you specifically how uh, a particular radical group has been taken over the security of this beautiful country that is France. Uh, but, you know, uh, all of that, we, you guys are going to see it, uh, you know, uh, in the next incoming days. Mini documentaries, I think, is the best way for us to uh, basically put all of our work and expose it in a really, you know, methodical uh, way. And, you know, really, uh, uh, well, yes, uh, meticulous way, you know, you know explaining a minute by minute second by second and and also adding to the fact that i'm explaining in the video and you got the interview and you got the guest explaining and all that kind of stuff so uh it is amazing to do that uh it is 9 25 <laughs> in the evening look at this man you gotta be kidding me 9 25 in the evening so crazy uh and it is it is not dark yet you gotta be kidding me with that man it's not dark yet get it's been tijuana's dark at 9 18. <laughs> So God bless you all. Uh, it, I, the only thing that I got to tell you is that I'm so glad uh, that I stopped going into the stores in France. My God, my God, people, the bread in France, the croissants are so addictive. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I am out. I, I, today I made a promise that I was not going to eat croissants that I was not going to eat a French croissant. I said, I said to everybody in the team, I'm stopping with the croissants. It is so addictive. Today, I'm not going to eat a croissant. I'm done with it. Done with it. And sadly, we went, we passed through a bakery and the smell was so delicious. And I had to stop. <laughs> and I ate two croissants. Damn it. Damn it, croissant. <laughs> the croissant. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we uh, we left France today around uh, 2 o'clock. I think it was 2 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we did a hit uh, with Dr. Gina and Miss Miranda Khan, uh, or Miss Miranda Khan and Dr. Gina uh, in Belgium. We stopped in Belgium for a little bit. Uh, and I wanted to have a Belgian waffle, but that's just too much. I'm just like... All this bread over here in Europe, man, it's just so addictive. Uh, and from there, uh, we have stopped again in Amsterdam because tomorrow we're leaving to another country. So God bless you all. Thank you so much for your endless support. Buy me a coffee. Uh, it is pinned on the chat on every chat that we do, on every video that we do. Uh, uh, you know, Primo, how about them Danish cookies now? Uh, I haven't tasted them. <laughs> Don't get me started, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. I had enough. I had enough with the with the croissants, man. I had enough with the croissants. And the croissants are so good. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Uh, so we are going to keep on moving. 
Uh, remember, Patriot Mobile, uh, support, support local businesses, support local uh, company, lo local American, local American Patriot companies, Patriot Mobile. Go to PatriotMobile.com and uh, support local uh, companies at Patriot Mobile. Patriot Mobile is the one that is sponsoring this trip. So thank you so much, Patriot Mobile, for all the things that you have been doing. God bless you all. Thank you so much. It is 928 in the evening. My brother Ben is all the way to the back. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Uh, you can see the back of the airport of Amsterdam right there in the back. It is cloudy. It is foggy, but it is back there. Uh, we have a couple of things to do before we go to sleep because we got a really early upper uh, tomorrow morning. Now, we'll read some comments just to have some fun. Uh, wait till you taste the real Dutch Stroop waffles. Ah, <laughs> it's a lot of good food, man. It's a lot of good food. I, I, I'm really surprised of the bread. Uh, the bread, I'm really surprised. I'm extremely surprised of the bread. I thought that Mexico had the best bread ever. Uh, but I am uh, I'm extremely surprised. And it's so addictive, man. It's just the coffee. The only thing that I don't like is the coffee from Europe. <laughs> they put them on this really small, tutti-frutti cups. Like, grow, grow a pair, man. Grow a pair and, and, and buy a big cup. You gotta be kidding me, man. Just grow a pair and put a big cup of coffee, man. Uh, you know, that's what you gotta do. That's the only thing that I'm complaining about the coffee. Other than that, everywhere you go, it's just the, the bread is so remarkably good. I just, I, I don't have no other words to say. And I don't know if I have put up a little weight or not, but I really do not care. The pants are fitting the same, so I am continuously doing it. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I, 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 I completely annihilated myself in the last two to three weeks training, hardly training, boxing, running, all that kind of stuff. I think I deserved, you know, a couple of days of eating bread. You know, I'm, I'm not even complaining about it. So I'm good. I'm good. We're, we're good. <laughs> so God bless you all. God blessings, 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 blessings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for every single blessing that you have given me in this second opportunity in life. You are so good to me. Uh, European countries don't use all the crap we use. Well, uh, yes, a lot of it is, is kind of different. Uh, but the only thing about, you know, these European countries is that it's being hijacked by these globalists and these lunatics, environmentalists. So that is that is a bad thing about it, that. Uh, they're trying to do that to the United States. And if you guys let it pass, and if you guys let it, it's already happening, but it, not as as it is happening like in the Netherlands, like in Belgium, like in France. It is just so shocking to see that when you're driving in the car, the car is, you know, these intelligent cars that, you know, we had a rental in, and the, the car automatically tells you that you are in a no-go zone for hydrocarbons. There's areas where a gasoline car cannot enter. <laughs> so that is the, one of the most craziest things. What, what's going on? That's it? You're done? Just say hello. Say hello to people. Just say hello. Hello, hello. Hello, people. Hello, people. Just say, say something. Something. Say something about the croissants. What do you think about the croissants? Uh, they what, are, was, what was the thing that I did? They are delicious. Do? Quiche. Quiche. You love quiche. <laughs> that sounds really good. You are a lover of quiche. You loved nibbling on my quiche. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> hey, we, to tell them about that picture that a paparazzi took of us. It was, <laughs> it was pretty spectacular. I'm not going to lie. It was like that moment. Was, there's just moments in life that you'll just... It's just the right moment, the time, the our light, hand, our the hands spacing. Were, our hands were... <laughs> Hi, man. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, so good. So good. Okay. I'll see. You. I'll see okay. you right now. Okay. Okay. What is it? Florida? What? No, I used to be work for the California State Assembly against the communists in California. Wow. I used to work for a state assemblyman. Well, this, guy, awesome. this guy's looking at us. He saw us well, in lock fingers, and he's awesome. like, ah, "Yeah, he's like these weirdos out here." Yeah, yeah I know. But it's yeah. just, uh, they don't know that we that we do this kind of stuff every time. Yeah, that is weird. So, guys, amazing I'm, trip. Yeah, tell them about it. No, it is. Look, bottom line, it's the same enemy. It's the same enemy in America that it is over here. Uh, they're trying to destroy the Western world. They're using illegal aliens to do it. Uh, they're shipping in people from all over the world. 
Uh, and in particular here in Europe, it's mainly Muslims, uh, some of them Christians escaping some of these African and Middle Eastern countries. But it's bad. The terror level is high. The attacks on Christians happen in almost every single day in France, where we just came from. Same thing in Sweden. It's only going to get worse. Because, environmentalists. And the environmentalists. It's all tied together. So Greta Thunberg, who thinks she's saving the world, saving the planet. She's not. She's just driving this radical environmentalism. And it's all tied together. United Nations, all these Catholic charities, the uh, global reset, as Oscar always talks about the, uh, the uh, no uh, compact of immigration. All of this, it's tied together and it's all about destroying the West. It's all about destroying Christian conservative uh, countries and remaking it in their communist utopian image, which will ultimately mean death for millions. So we got to stop it. That's the bottom line. There you have it, people. Uh, ben is about to go to rest because tomorrow we got an early upper. Uh, we are saying good night to all of you. It is 9.34 over here and the sun is still up. What the hell is going on? That's kind of cool though. That is cool. <laughs> it's not cool. Europe, Europe is awesome. It's just, they just, they've, wokeism has destroyed it. I mean, talk about an amazing, amazing countries. The history, the buildings, the food, amazing places that have just been destroyed by wokeism. Godless wokeism, whatever you want to call it, globalism. <laughs> Everything that, that ends in zism. Zism or tard. <laughs> all right, brother. It's all the same, brother. All right, brother. All right. Uh, there you have it. Uh, that's our uh, that's our great brother Ben Berkwam. So, uh, guys, uh, I will be uh, talking to you guys uh, tomorrow as we are about to go to rest. Uh, I had to wash some clothes. <laughs> Because we got more, uh, we got a long, long, long days to go still uh, in our tour over here in Europe. Quick shout out to our network, Real America's Voice News, the best network that it is in the world. God bless you all. Wendy Bell Radio Network. Ms. Wendy, uh, hopefully I can uh, talk to you soon. Also, collaborative contributor to Wendy Bell Radio Network. A lot of shout outs to uh, to all the journalists that are doing a magnificent job uh, out there. Follow your favorite journalists of your own independent media. It is the best media at all. And, uh, you know, Patreon Mobile, patreonmobile.com. Be sure to be uh, supporting local.